What's up everybody, Serenity D here and this is just a quick settings video so basically I'll be talking about my sensitivity, my gaming setup, my PC specs, my in-game settings, etc. This video is just to answer all of those questions that I get pretty much 10 times to 20 times a day. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so as you can see, I have a pretty clever setup here. I have a dual monitor setup. The first BenQ is a 2430T and the second one is the cheapest BenQ you can find. My keyboard is a Logitech G610 and the mouse I use for FPS game is a Kinzu V3. However, I use the Razer Taipan to edit stuff because you get more buttons so I have, you know, hotkeys and stuff like that. Now onto my computer specs, I have a 4790K that's cooled by a H100i, I believe. My graphics card is a EVGA GTX 1080 uh, for the Win Edition, and I have 16 gigs of RAM. The webcam you see at the top of the first monitor is a Logitech C920. Now let's see the in-game settings. Alright, so let's start with the, um, the HUD preferences. Um, I only turn off one thing, and it's the teammate outline. Now, the reason for that is, uh, for example, your teammate, you know, peaks at the same time as an enemy, and your teammate is behind the enemy through a wall or something. Uh, you won't see the enemy very clearly. Sometimes you can't even see him at all. So, um, it's great to turn it off. I would totally recommend turning it off. Uh, teammate name. Now, that's optional, but if you're playing with the same squad, like, every time you play and you play the same roles every time you play so basically if you're in a pro team then it's great to turn off because honestly sometimes the names will mess you up like sometimes even the names uh, will mess you up but i stream a lot which means i play um like i play pub a lot and if i play pub a lot then i need to know the names you know i don't play with the same people over and over again so those are the two things that I wanted to talk about in the HUD references because uh, I didn't change anything else. Um, so that's it for gameplay. Audio, um, master volume, obviously to 100. It's just for the video. I don't want you guys to hear the clicks. All right, so I put it to zero. Uh, music, just put it to zero. It's better at zero. It's just that, I don't know, it sounds cool for the stream at 20. And I don't really care, you know, like... When I, when I stream, I play pub, so it's it's not the end of the world if there's a little bit of music. Um, dynamic range, actually, that I'm not sure what's going on with that. A lot of people are actually using TV. Like, a lot of competitive players are using TV. Not sure why. Um, so I just put it at TV, and I didn't think twice. Um, so, yeah, just experiment with it, I guess. I mean, I don't really see a difference. So, um, so yeah. And I use push to talk. Display, 1080p, borderless, uh, go full screen if you're not streaming. If you're streaming and you have to alt tab a lot, just use borderless. Uh, there's going to be less of a delay, obviously. 144 hertz. This <clears throat> this right here is amazing. If you don't know, you know, if you don't know what it looks like, just, just try it and you're never going to look back. All right, you're just going to buy a 144 hertz monitor and you're going to love it. <clears throat> um, V-Sync off because I don't like the uh, input delay obviously and field of view now this is very interesting uh, a lot of people uh, have been running 90 forever and people are starting to go back so people are starting to experiment with the hollow site and lower field of views now I'm talking about from 74 I heard like from 74 to like 85 you know like that range with hollow sites um, I heard some really good players are actually running the the lower FOV uh, hollow life. <laughs> so just try it. Um, I tried it. I think my shots were great. It's just maneuvering around the map was really weird. And so I went back to ACOGS and 90. But it's something that's pretty cool to, um, to experiment with. In the graphic settings, um, all of those settings are just fine to bump up. Um... That's just going to make the game look better without, you know, hindering your vision. So that's fine. But those four here, <coughs> those four are pretty bad to, uh, to, to, to bump up. They're going to make your vision just really weird. And you're just going to lose some fights that you shouldn't lose. Um, and so you should really turn them off. I mean, some of them make the outside uh, in daytime look like it's, it's heaven. And like some will make your ACOG look really weird and stuff. Just just turn th those four off and uh, play with this one and all those ones. Now I'm running a 1080. 
So I can afford to run everything at like super high, whatever, uh, and still run 144 frames plus. But yeah, just, you know, don't be shy. Like if, if, if you need to run everything at low, it's fine. The game still looks fine. And honestly, if you're competitive, then you shouldn't really care about how good the game looks. It's just that I stream and I do YouTube and I kind of like the game looking great. Um, but I don't want it to hinder my performances as a player. That's why I turn those off. Uh, Anti-aliasing, just, you know, do, do your thing. I don't really care about anti-aliasing, so I just turn it off. Um, in, in controls, I have uh, a DPI of 1000, which is very high. Uh, most, like, pretty much every remarkably good players that I know, they all play at 400 to 600 DPI. And I play at 1000. So 1000 is a lot. And it's hindering my performances um, in long range engagements. Like I have a lot of, uh, like it's really hard for me to line up heads at long range, basically. Um, so yeah, I, I'm thinking of going down in DPI. So if you're watching this video and it's like old or something, I might have went down to like 400. Um, but right now I'm running 1008 in-game sensitivity, which is high, by the way. This sensitivity is, is very high compared to other pros. And uh, aim down sight is 50. Now, gadget deployment is advanced for me. And uh, and what are the other options I changed? Oh, yeah. So if you want to take pictures, I'm gonna just going to scroll down. But I, I, I'm going to explain it. Um, I changed the walking to tab. And I changed the scoreboard to alt. The crouch and stance uh, change in repelling to X and prone to Z. Okay. So I don't think there's any secrets here. You know, just do whatever you like. It's just whatever you're conf comfortable with. So yeah, those are just my controls. I'm not claiming that those are the best ones. I'm just answering the questions that I get all the time on Twitch and YouTube. So yeah, I hope this video will do. You know, I tried to keep it short and simple. If you have any more questions, just come to my stream and ask them in chat. I should get back to you pretty quickly. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it for today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you soon. I I love kill him. Oh my god, right back. You're so fucking... Right back. Oh my god. <laughs> So many noises! <laughs> right back. Fucking hell.